Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has five scriptures to go along with it. The first is the book of Psalm, Psalm 34, verse 18. In the King James Version Bible, it reads, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. The second scripture is the book of John, chapter 14, verses 26 through 27 in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The third scripture is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 9 through 10, in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then I am strong. The fourth scripture is the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 through 18 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. The fifth and final scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verses 6 through 9, in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, these are the true sayings of God. Now for the message given from the Lord God on November the 12th, 2022. Lie prostrate upon the floor, my beloved children. Pour your hearts out to me. Release your burdens unto me now. Allow me to heal your hearts. I will mend them, each and every broken part. I will defend you to the Father as long as you are of a repentant spirit. Make your hearts right with me now, my beloved children. Now is the time to honor our relationship. Make your vessels clean before me. Remove any iniquity from your spirits. Hear me now, my beloved children, for the time is so very late. You cannot afford to wait another minute longer. I will make you stronger, but you must first profess me as your Savior. 
change your behavior today and prove to me you are a believer in the Most High Yah. Get to know me better by reading the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in the New Testament. I will save you by grace through faith when I see you begin to sincerely worship and praise me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Take the first step today and pray like you've never prayed before in your lifetimes. Get on the floor and ask me for forgiveness. I will forgive you for I love you so. I just need to know if you are mine. I will not force you to believe in me. You must truly want to wholeheartedly. If you feel as if you are at the end of the rope, then I will pull you, you closer to me. I will give you the hope you need in order to believe I do exist. Read my word daily and I will send you the Holy Ghost. Get ready for those of you who are washed clean in the blood of the Lamb will be taken up to the marriage supper of the Lamb on New Jerusalem. Praise me and seek my face now. I will be coming through the clouds to meet my bride in the air. Prepare for the day and the hour is nearly here. With everlasting love, your only Savior, Jesus of Nazareth. So a message of hope and encouragement. And he's telling you what you need to do in order to be ready for him when he comes to get you. And I believe this message is for the lost and lukewarm. And he's telling you what you need to do. And it sounds to me like he knows exactly what you're going through right now. And at the beginning it says here, lie prostrate on, excuse me, lie prostrate upon the floor my beloved children, pour your hearts out to me. Release your burdens unto me now. Allow me to heal your hearts. I'm just going to give you a few of the main points in here. Remove any iniquity from your spirits. Hear me now, my beloved children, for the time is so very late. You cannot afford to wait another minute. So to me, it sounds like he will be here so soon. So you don't have much time to do this. It says here, change your behavior today and prove to me you are a believer in the most high Yah. Get to know me better by reading the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in the New Testament. I will save you by grace through faith when I see you begin to sincerely worship and praise me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It says here, take the first step today and pray like you've never prayed before in your lifetimes. Get on the floor and ask me for forgiveness. I will forgive you for I love you so. Further down, I will not force you to believe in me. You must truly want to wholeheartedly. If you feel as if you are at the end of the rope, then I will pull you closer to me. I will give you the hope you need in order to believe I do exist. Read my word daily and I will send you the Holy Ghost. Then it says further down, get ready for those of you who are washed clean in the blood of the Lamb, will be taken up to the marriage supper of the Lamb on New Jerusalem. Praise me and seek my face now. I will be coming through the clouds to meet my bride in the air. Prepare for the day and the hour is nearly here. So please take heed to the message and worship and praise him. He is worthy and he will be coming very soon to get his bride, but he does not want to force any of you. He wants you to truly believe on him and be ready when he gets here. And may God bless you.